Well, after weeks of big top BS, congressional Republicans have named the next speaker, an unheralded Louisiana feller named Mike Johnson. As soon as that happened, the rest of us went to Google his name with our fingers crossed going, please don't be crazy, please don't be crazy, please don't be crazy. But let's be honest, that's like looking up a random Jason Aldean song as a Southerner and thinking to yourself, please don't be an embarrassment to all I hold dear. It is absolutely going to be. Every time. In fact, if it's not, there's been some kind of mistake. It, how could it be anything else? There's no other options. In 2023, Republican congressmen only come in two speeds, regular crazy and <laughs> gunshot noise. That's the only things you got, right? And as far as Mike Johnson, he is upon further inspection. You guessed it. Bananas. He is. They just think maybe he could pass as moderate because he wears glasses and on occasion will employ multisyllabic words. Well, don't buy it, okay? He is a fascistic zealot, all right? Yeah, the, the more level-headed contingent, if there is such a thing in the Republican base they looked at him and they said all right well so okay he's a so he's a seditious ideologue but you know at least he's not a, a sex pest with a cartoonishly gigantic head at, le at least he's not pulling his titties out at the opera or showing dick pics on the floor of congress you know i, I mean I, and that's that's pretty good for us right i mean after all it's 2023 and we're the republicans this is literally the best we can do but of course the real reason they picked him is because daddy said so that's right the night before Trump encouraged him all to support Mike Johnson, and we all know when he says jump, they say, yes, sir, I will, sir. Can I please take the gimp suit off first? They are his bitches. He, they, we, the whole damn world knows it, right? But as for why Trump backed Mike Johnson in the first place, it's because he satisfies the one criterion that Trump actually cares about, and that is he is utterly divorced from the objectivity of reality, particularly as it pertains to the results of the last presidential election. That's right. He's an election denier, and in MAGA world, that's literally all that matters, all right? You don't believe it? Look at some of the other candidates that got floated. Some of the other names they floated out there were arch conservatives, man. I mean, first ballot, Hall of Fame, hate mongers. These people hated all the right stuff, blacks, Mexicans, gays, women, poors, math, books, you name it, they hated it. But they had the audacity to certify Biden as the next president on account of he had been elected by the American people to be the next president. And for that sin in MAGA world, they are cast out, shunned, labeled rhinos forevermore. That's how they roll. And that is terrifying. Okay. And as far as Mike Johnson goes, he's not just a believer. No, he's an architect. He's a constitutional lawyer. He tried to devise legal arguments for why Trump should be able to retain the presidency. Back then, they called that a paper coup, y'all. So I'm telling you right now, don't let all this suburban business dad shit fool you, all right? This milk toast maniac is every bit as dangerous as the rest of them, if not more so due to his semblance of competency and ability to mask how insane he is. This is reality. God help us all. Love you. Whew, wait, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for uh, being here. I appreciate it. So my Jeep's still in the shop. Hell of a thing. Should get it back soon, though, and then we'll get back to normal around here. Hope you don't mind it too much. I'm going to put up some little circles and squares. This is my comedy special. Damn boy, watch that. Check that out. One of these circles is to subscribe to the channel. You should totally do that. Get all these videos. Get all the other shit that I do, podcasts and whatnot. It's fun time. And the most important thing to me, if you go to the other circle, TreyCrowder.com, you can see my tour dates, see if I'm coming to your city. And if I am, get a ticket. Come see me do stand-up live. That's what I really do. And that's a hell of a good time. Also, on TreyCrowder.com, you can check out my new book with Corey Ryan Forrester called Round Here and Over Yonder. It's a comedic travel guide. It's very fun. Either way, the important thing is you keep watching these. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you. Bye.